hello guys so before we start this video there is a humble request to all of you see learning vocabulary is not just about watching videos and remembering lists you will that way you will not be learning vocabulary okay vocabulary is never learned vocabulary is built okay and whenever you have to build something it takes time it takes constant effort and that constant effort when it comes to vocabulary is to practice it again and again and again there were many students who commented on the previous video forming sentences of the words that are taught great job guys kudos to you but today the people who are basically new who are watching this video for the first time after you watch this video do not forget to form sentences from those words and comment them down okay i will be personally reviewing each and every comment and i will be telling you the mistakes that you're making there so go for it hello guys and welcome to prep e where we revolutionize how you prepare for ielts so this is the second video of the ielts vocab cafe so today we will be learning three words in the next three minutes so let us start now okay so three words in three minutes first of all we will be quickly revising what we learned yesterday mediate what did mediate mean tell me tell me tell me mediate meant to resolve a dispute between two parties right to impartially resolve a dispute between two parties to all the people who commented in on the last video very good ascend ascend means to go up to climb up okay precise precise means to do what is required accurately to not do more to not do less perfect so the first word of the day we all know him right he is uh like as for instance since i am an indian so he is our respected honorable prime minister okay so let us talk about how he won the elections in 2019 right his victory was assured everyone knew right even before the elections that it is uh, the modi government that is going to come out come back right how would you define this i would define this using the word invincible okay so we will be using this word whenever we have to explain something that is too hard to beat or that is too powerful to be defeated okay this time i am going to give you an example in the end okay combining all the three words together so the first word of the day is invincible what is the meaning too hard to be too powerful to be defeated right next word so what you see in front of you is a is an old lady right a beautiful old lady so what is old age what what do you think about old age right what is the first thing that comes to you, comes to your mind when it comes to old age to me what comes is that old age is certain right no matter who the person is that person might be katrina kaif that person might be the mom who teaches you here or that person might be anyone else everyone will get old one day right so it is certain okay how are we going to use the word certain we will write inevitable okay inevitable that means that something that is going to happen no matter what you do no matter what you try it is inevitable okay for example it is inevitable to fail if you seek success right that it is certain that you will be failing before you feel or before you reach or before you become successful okay inevitable something that is certain as simple as that so the next time if someone asks you and you want to say certainly you can also say inevitably right so inevitable is something that will happen for sure you cannot control that it is going to happen okay right in our life we start right at times we start new things you might be learning english right now you might be starting to learn ielts start starting to read or starting to learn ielts so how are you going to answer how are you going to speak this better what can be a better word than starting up or what can be a better word than being a beginner right it will be tyro okay t y r o let us remember it using a trick tyro 
someone who tries who tries beginners try right beginners try so they are tyros tyro means a beginner as simple as that okay someone who is beginning all right so now let's do a thing let us use these three words in a single sentence okay all right so uh, 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 let me think of a name rahul is a tyro when it comes to programming his failure was inevitable but he decided to work hard and made his skills invincible to failure okay that rahul is a beginner but he was so dedicated that he worked and turned that inevitability into invincibility right that he basically turned something that was certain that he would be failing he turned that into something that he became unbeatable failure couldn't touch him right that is something that you can do as far as your english skills are concerned as well and we can help you with that so if you are a tyro at english and want to score well in ielts come join hands with us and we will make your success inevitable okay all right guys so thank you very much for watching this video i will be seeing you tomorrow again have a good night have a good day wherever you are